Uh, morning guys Saturday gonna do some right away logging today I gotta uh, put a couple of uh, track bolts bolts in tighten a few others up check my tracks you know make sure all my bolts are nice and tight uh, especially after doing all this shovel logging this rocky ground anyways waiting for Mike to get here and go process but looky looky oh yes that makes Alex very happy. I'm so glad to see the sun. And I keep talking about this fog belt. This fog belt, you know, I showed you guys a video. Now, and like I say, it was raining so nasty all week that I only just videoed there Friday afternoon. Look at that fog sucked in here. Boy, the boys did really good. Really, really good. They started right here yesterday morning. And they got, uh, by the time they got in here and got rigged up, and all that uh, Wednesday when they only got just the first road done so uh, yesterday they started on the second road and they have logged right here they've logged all the way around where they're actually past those logs and they were supposed to choke those and send them up to me dag nabbit oh well I'll just take a truck down there anyways they're clear down oh, about right here so we just got a little, I bet there ain't, oh, uh, I'm going to say five hours of logging <coughs> on Monday. And then they're going to turn that yarder, throw a road or two across here just to knock that down. And heck, there ain't probably a, an hour or two all together with that. So we'll have all of that done and all of this done by Monday. And then they're going to unrig the yarder. Sure wish we had a tong tosser right now. Because I mean, a tong tosser would be perfect. Anyways, uh, unrig the yarder. Run it down here. I don't know if we're going to set right here where the shovel's at. Or just over the bank. And there's probably about the same. About an hour's worth of... Uh, not even going to put the butt rigging or anything on. Just going to run the, the hay wire up through a block. Onto the skid line. Suck it up and pull them down. Let's, uh, <coughs> get these a little bit tighter while I'm, oh yeah, oh yeah, waiting for Mike to get here with the big bar so we can put, uh, put the, uh, the torque right to her, and I think, ah, uh, God, I don't remember what the track bolts are supposed to be torqued down to, but more than what I can do by hand, huh, come on. Alrighty, well, I don't, I'm not sure where my processor operator is at. I'm really thinking that something probably broke down or something. Mike's not the type of guy to just not show up. So, I got my track bolts tightened down just as tight as I can get them until I can get a big old cheater bar on it. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to have to start picking out a lot better questions for the giveaways. You guys just, bam, bam. It wasn't even, I put that video up, and it wasn't, it wasn't two minutes before I got the first answer. I was like, really? I mean, I, I, I know it's a pretty, po well, no, I shouldn't say I know it's pretty popular. Uh, I didn't think that it was that popular of a movie for everybody to pick it out. Anyways, uh, as of right now, I haven't picked a winner, so I'm not naming anybody. But uh, whoever wins it, thanks for jumping on the channel and watching and subscribing, likes and all that. And uh, appreciate you playing along. All right, so I just got back here to give that oil to Mike, but I'm completely amazed that as much rain as we've gotten in the last week, that this dirt road is holding up this well. Part of the reason is we haven't been driving on it. If it was raining right now, uh, after about the second or third trip, it muck up real bad, but we got a lot of rain in the last couple of days. 
and uh, so just kind of surprising that and and there's quite a bit of rock in this dirt too I mean, you can see it in the bank a lot of that shale <laughs> but like I say if we uh, if it started raining right now <clears throat> even just driving the pickup up and down it let alone that that old cobbing hoe this thing would muck up pretty bad all right we'll be processing here shortly probably about the time I ran out of memory card and battery because I uh, been talking on this thing all day we'll get back to you guys so anyway just for in case of those of you that don't know there's the gravel road that goes up to the yarder now this is right away logging and they built a road through here sometimes it may be an access road to another piece it just happens to be that this one because we're gonna log that and this here they had to build a road into it to get out on that end of it. So the right-of-way logs would be the, the, the trees that come from where they built the road. So that's what right-of-way logging is. Right here, I wanted to show you guys the perfect example of why you would want to thin. We're not going to thin this. We're going to clear cut it. And you look in there and see all that little tiny stuff small 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 and it's pretty thick timber but it's all that little tiny stuff that's robbing the other trees of sunlight water nutrients and all that well, that's why this stuff isn't and some of it is that's pretty nice stick there hemlock but it's still pretty nice stick anyways you'd go through there and thin that and take out all that little crap and then every other or whatever of this other stuff and open that up a lot more sunlight because you're opening the canopy up so a lot more sunlight gets in a lot more moisture and all that and then you come back in 10 years and this you know like this one right here well it's growing a little bit better just because it's sitting in the right away here but you go through take that one right there that big one right in the middle you go through there and thin that and if we were thinning this that little tree would go that smaller tree would go that one right there would go and then that little one behind it would go so that would leave this one this one and that big one in the middle <coughs> come back in 10 years where that is probably about 18 17 18 inches on the butt come back in 10 years after you thin that and I bet that would be a 26 you know 25 to a 27 inch butt easy just in 10 years you know for thinning it so <coughs> you're you're doubling your buck on it really if it's your your ground and timber you go in and you thin it so you're making money off of them logs and then you let your stand improve over the next 10 years after you thin it then you come back in the woods twice as big healthier da 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 and then you clear cut it bam double the buck so that's why you know for instance of why you'd want to thin it and I'm walking uphill, so I'm panting like a puppy dog because Mike broke down and he needs some tools and some hydraulic fluid. We'll get back to you guys.